Yo, homie's controller is upside down. Y'all seeing this? Look at that. That's how he plays. Look at him go. He's got the cross up DI on his inputs. Alright, right into the start of the game. We're throwing out S smashes. That's the upside down controller. Alright, running up smash gets the up air after big follow up. Actually, a lot of up airs here, keeping the pressure going on to Lummox's recovery. The Nair actually beats out the neutral B though, and Lummox out of the corner. Not for very long though. Yellow flash keeping the damage on. Risky up B, but Yellow flash stuck in the lag of his side B. Not gonna get punished at all. Oh, are you dead? Good DI on the jab. That honestly, that guy might have done it. Zero suits light. It right, doesn't matter though, that upbeat not gonna be enough to reach. Lummox taking the first blood here on stock number one. Can he keep it going? Not a whole lot percent in Zero Suit. Not necessarily known for early kills consistently, at least. She has some here and there, but not a character that is generally killing you sub 100 every stock. And that's kind of Roy's game plan here. He wants to get those early stocks. Having a lead like this is gonna give him a lot of room to work with. Missed upbeat. Oh, wait, he got the jump? Is that it? No, he doesn't get the back air. Okay, we're getting the overlay of the upside down controller. You can kind of see it there. The input reader. Oh, that's the up down smash. Gets the blaster on the ground, gets the up B. That's going to be the first stock off of Lummix. Only 46%, not the end of the world. Something Zero Suit can make up pretty damn quick here if they, she gets the right strings. Not going to find anything to lead off here, but keeps it going. Zero into the dash attack. Tries to call out Lummix's double jump, but just a little bit too close. Gets caught by the Nair. Nair out shield for Lummix once again. Tries to catch the landing, but the down B is going to get Zero Suit out of danger. He reads the little weight. Doesn't get the back here, though. The jab a little bit too far forward. Alright, grab. Just standard procedure here. Lummox keeping the lead trap going. Chases down the down B with the up air. Gets the damage going. Risky recovery, but it pays off here. Yellow Flash able to fight his way out of the corner. Jer no, jab into the up air. Not going to find it, but the forward air on the landing is going to catch it. Yellow Flash down to the last stock here on game number one. Down throw jab, not the sour spot. What's the play here from Lummox? The pressure, but I'll just lose it to shield in the end. Kind of the crutch of Roy. Has these mix-ups, but if you hold shield through it and just don't let him grab you, you're safe a lot of the time. Tries for the down smash once again. Not gonna find it, and it's gonna be an up the uh, shield for Lummox. Both players just playing safe. He reads the roll. Knows the get up attack is coming, says you can't get it twice though. Not the end of the world on the punch there. Doesn't find the jab into the side B. Yep. Oh, that should be it. That's the third time we've seen jab fair from Lummox, not finding any of his back air inputs, but it doesn't matter in the end there. The forward air is going to be enough to take that first stock. I just got to know, like, what was the reason for learning upside down? Like, what is the benefit there? Do you, like, fly planes and you're just used to, like, steering up and down? Like, what's going on here? Make it make sense. We're going to hit Battlefield for game number three. There's the upside down controller in question. All right, so we're gonna get the stage change over to Battlefield. The stage, I honestly, is pretty beneficial for both characters, but in the end, it doesn't matter who it's more beneficial for. It's who's gonna play better, and Yellow Flash thinks it's gonna be him here on Battlefield. Not a whole lot of combo start here, just trading blows left and right. No stray hits, more than one, two, three. Fair into the jab. Here could be something for Lummix, but the second hand air sends backwards, drifts just a little bit too far. Can't keep Yellow Flash in front of him. Now we're gonna see some sort of ladder come in. No, it, actually a risky down air does get punished from Lummix, or for Lummix, rather. That should be, no, the jab actually from Zero Suit making the down air safe. Roy's jab bash shield not fast enough to contend. It's gonna be an upbeat. Little push on the end here, not enough to take it though. Flash trying to snipe with these back ears. Good recovery from Lummox. 
It's going to be a grab on the side beat. Zare doesn't get the down smash afterwards. What does Zero realistically do when she doesn't get down smash? Like, how does she kill sometimes? Tries for a deep edge guard. She really has to commit here. Whereas Roy is going to be throwing out these big hits. The side beat not going to take it, but does keep him safe. Has some sort of read. They both go low, but it's a tech for Yellow Flash. Back here. That's going to erase the stock, and we're dead even once again. Well, Shield, he knows I'm not getting hit by the side beat. We'll just start over. All right. I know he was at zero, but I really want to see landing up here, down here. Back there. It's going to be some damage. He reads the down air from Yellow Flash, gets the down tilt into the corner. I don't think that was the strongest hit of the side beat, but it's going to be an F to our shield. Almost getting the kill at like 90 as a punish for a getup attack. Zayers once again coming in, poking and poking, but doesn't find anything. The cattle prod is in the hands of Roy, burning through these stocks right now. Uh, bears for Yellow Flash trying to answer back, get this percent back in his favor. But again, the time to kill, the percentage where that happens is so much higher for Zero Suit, it feels like. This is such dangerous percent to be at against Roy. You gotta play it well here. The neutral get him, gets around the down smash, but not the side beat. That killed a lot earlier than I thought it would. No side B here, and it's going to be a dash track punch, but this Lummox, a little hesitant, jab into the forward air, goes high and sees the reaction. That time I do understand the forward air. I don't think back air would have jumped high enough. Good patience from Yellow Flash, finds two up airs, but doesn't chase the DI down correctly. Doesn't matter though, he keeps the damage going. Nair into the forward air. Oh man, I don't know why I thought that hit. The jab into the nair, sour spots as a trade back from Yellow Flash. The back here, not gonna take it, but Roy does expend his double jump to committal on the side B there, and this is Lummox's opening here. There's the air dodge. Lummox tries to chase it out with the photo, doesn't find it. Still alive here, 104% versus 54 for the Yellow Flash, but I'm still not comfortable because if you're against Roy, that second place could have been a side B. I think it kills. Oh, that is such a mistake for Lummix, but not one that cost him the game just yet. Can the Yellow Flash close it out? Not gonna do it. Is that the jab into the back here? It is, catches the tech in place, and Lummix clutching it out in the end. Oh, man. That was really well played in the end there from Yellow Flash, so he was playing super close, but he just got a little bit too aggressive, really wanted to close that game out, and just couldn't make it happen. Overcommit a little 